Hi and welcome back to a short tutorial regarding Unity and AR Foundation, although there was a lot going on with the Unity pricing within the last few weeks. I decided for myself that I'll continue doing Unity tutorials, but also trying to broaden my perspective and I'm currently looking into Godot and into Unreal, so look forward for future tutorials. As you already seen in my channel, I already dived into WebXR, I guess I will upload more of these tutorials in the future, but nevertheless, there is also Unity on the market and a very, very high developed augmented reality engine with our AR foundation and overall the mixed reality portion of Unity is very, very good. So I will continue doing tutorials on that. If you have any suggestions or any ideas about apps and projects of other engines, feel free to leave a comment and nevertheless, let's get started with the AR Foundation. And in this short tutorial, we're going to dive into the image tracking part, which is basically one of the first things everyone is going to use when starting with AR. And Unity AR Foundation already has a lot of features. And if we just dive into the image tracking part, you can see that there is a lot of information going on. And I would say let's get started. Open Unity Hub, click on New Project. I have the Unity version 2022.3.9 here, and I'm selecting the AR Core template. If this template is not visible on your side, just feel free to type AR here, download the template, and select it. Let's call our project AR Basics and click on create project and let Unity do its thing. After everything, everything started, you will already see the warning that they XR environment is not available and then we are project template will start. I just close the window. You can take the tutorial window and maybe look at it. I'll just close it for now and switch right into the project settings. And down here at the XR plugin management, we see that Unity already installed everything needed for starting from scratch. In our case, we only need the XR simulation from the standard home portion and in Android, because we're going to build for Android, we need AR core. Just checking the settings here, AR core, okay, that's cool. XR simulation is also here. There are a lot of smaller settings, but they are not relevant for us at all. And let's go on to the player settings, to the other settings and remove OpenGLS2, it's no longer needed. That's all good. Give the whole thing a name. Let's name it com.fdgs.arbasics. We can lift it. We can lift it here just to move the RMV7 because we're not targeting all the devices. Both input handling methods are also selected. And that looks pretty good. There is nothing really left to do here. Just for safety, go to the preferences and select XR simulation and make sure that the enable navigation checkbox is checked. So we can use the simulation to actively fly around with mouse and keyboard. Speaking of the simulation, we're going to switch to Android now within the build settings, add the open scene, switch to Android, switch platform. And as you can see here, the DAR session origin is already deprecated. We will just remove that here after the reload and replace it with an XR session origin. Select it, delete it, the AR session can stay, and right click XR, XR origin. And you can see that the shells of the XR origin are basically the same 
because they were with the AR origin and to the XR origin, let's add the AR direct image manager, which will take care of our image tracking. I'll just set the max number of moving images to four. The direct image prefab does not have to be set because this is for all prefabs, for all tracked image, images the same prefab. We will use it later on to just check if our images are tracked. And what we need for now is a serialized library for our reference images. I'll just keep it under the assets folder, right click, create XR reference image library. I'll just leave the default name. And when you click on add image, you can add images here. We don't have any images here because we haven't imported the default stuff yet. We will do that now. Just go to window XR. AR foundation and select the XR environment. Give it over here, there are multiple scene windows. I don't know why, I'll just close them here. And within the XR environment, there is this little window and a little drop down for the default simulation environment and the sample environments. And we'll just click here to install the sample environments. Wait a second. Click on import and we're good to go. As you can see in the drop down, there are lots of things that you can select where you can just check all your augmented reality stuff here. And there is also the simulation camera. We'll go with the default simulation environment. Click on the show actions button and duplicate this one. I'll just leave it like default simulation environment one prefab and add it it here. And as you can see, there is already a tracked image in here. And I'll just tick that, duplicate it. And in the first image, we'll just tell it that it should be the one image and the second one should be the two image. So first of all, go to the logo quad, check where the material is located. I copy it and put it into my own materials folder. Materials. Here, duplicate it again. And for the first image, I'll select one. This one here from the XR content folder. And for the second, just choose two. From the XR content folder again. Here we go, we have two materials now and just replace everything on the logo quad with one here and the logo quad with two here. Move the number two over here and the logo quad is not set correctly. We just added the X scale to 0 0.5 and the Y scale the same. And the same goes for the second one. We go and we have our simulated images here. Make sure to add the image here as well as Unity, the XR simulator in Unity does not actually do some optical tracking. It's only tracking based on the simulated tracked image class. And so you will have to set your image here. And furthermore, after saving the prefab, We'll have to select our reference image library, add the one image here, make sure to keep texture at runtime and add the second image, image to here and do the checkbox again. Save it. And for now, we can check if they are tracked by adding the tracked image prefab here. We'll just go to assets. Look for cube, cube object, save the scene and let's start it. We can move around by holding the right mouse button and using WASD keys. And let's see if they're already tracked. No, there are no trackables here because I forgot to add 
the library here to the AR Ticket Image Manager, save it, try it again. And we'll see that both images are tricked. That's already pretty cool, but maybe we want some more information than the trackables will show us. So I'm just adding an empty game object here, call it direct image information. Create a new folder called scripts. And a new script called tracked image info. And the Unity documentation here is actually pretty good. So Unity documentation already provides us with information how to query through the images, react to certain events like the found image, the updated image, and so on. So I just replace the default stuff here with everything from the documentation, adding the using for Unity engine XRA foundation. And there's Another method which will list us all found images. I'll add that here too. And I'll add an update method which will check if I'm pressing, I'll just use the old input system here, get key up, for instance, key code that space. And if that happens, please list all images. Okay, just save it. So I'll just get all the information that's queried at the moment. And all I have to do is to reference the tracked image manager here. So let's get back to the editor. Add our script here. Reference the AI tracked image manager from the XR origin. Save the scene and Click on play. So we can fly around the, the cubes. The images cannot be moved, by the way, so I'll just use the static images and when I now press spacebar, you see that there are two images tracked, the one and the two image. And as I said before, it's very important to add the checkbox here for keep texture runtime. If this is not added, both images tracked will be null. So that's actually pretty good for the start. The next thing that should be done is to deploy it to our device. I have my Google Pixel added here. Let's just click build and run, add a new folder, build. Call the file AR basics. And because we have specify the number of moving images in our AR image tracker, we will be able to move the images around. And I'll just speed up the video here. So this is the view through a smartphone and I'm just trying to Scan the one image, and as you can see, the tracking happens instantly. And if I move the image around on my screen, the cube will follow. And if I now place it over here, for instance, select number two, still track the second cube. Here is number one. And still the other cube. And that's basically it for the very simple start. If you want to dive deeper into the AR Foundation from Unity, just make sure to check out their documentation. And they still have a very, very good GitHub repo with AR Foundation samples. I'll put the link into the description box where you can basically check out everything for Google AR Core, OpenXR, and the AR Kit. 
and all the supported features and a lot of sample applications within this repo. So make sure to check that out. And again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, for your comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe and make a few suggestions what you want to see next. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.